Hello, everyone. This is Li Tao Chinese. My name is Zheng Tao, and I am your teacher. Welcome to our practical Chinese video course, Pinyin Lesson Two. In the previous episode, we learned the seven simple finals. Let's do a quick review first. Please repeat after me. Ah.、Uh, O, E, I, U, U, R. Don't forget, we also practiced five tones. And some very important spelling rules. Are you familiar with these? If your answer is no, I strongly suggest you go back to watch our last lesson again. If your answer is yes, well, let's get started for today's episode. In today's episode, we are going to learn four initials. The first one is. This sound is very similar to B in English, bear. Read after me, please. B. B. The second one is p. This sound is very similar to P in English, pear. Please read after me. The third one is m.、Mm. This sound is the same as m in English. May. Please repeat after me. M.、Mm. M.、Mm. The fourth one is f. This sound is the same as f in English. Food. Repeat after me, please. Okay, let's read the four initials one more time. B, p, m, f. Because initials can never stand syllables without finals, so let's combine the four initials with the finals together. And like the previous episode. I will choose some very simple but useful words for you to practice. Ba, which means number eight. Ba ba, it means dad. It's a two-syllable word. Actually, most of the Chinese words have two syllables. The more we learn, the more two-syllable words you will find. Bob, another two-syllable word. In China, we call our father's elder brother Bob. Bi, it means pen. Bu, which means not. It's a very common Chinese negative word. Pa, which means to be afraid of. Po po. One meaning of this word is husband's mother. Mama. I think in many languages, this word always had the same meaning. It means mom. Mi mi, which means secret. For example, when somebody asks you something you don't want to tell, you can just say this word. Mi mi. For it means Buddha. In China, there are many people believe in Buddhism. Fu Wu, service. Remember, we just use the words to practice pronunciation. Now, it's not necessary for you 
to memorize the meanings of them, just to focus on how they are pronounced, because we'll relearn all of them after we finish the pinyin course. Okay, let's read the words one more time. Ba. Ba ba. Bo bo. Di. Bu. Pa. Po po. Ma ma. Mi mi. Fo. Fu wu. Well, that's all for today's episode. Thank you for watching. See you next time.